hello everyone welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i am going to talk about the problem guess the kth zero and the problem is of easy version f1 type of code forces round 719 division 3 okay so basically this is an interactive problem you can easily see and there is a difference from the easy version and the hard version it is like uh, in, in the easy version t should be always equal to 1 and the number of queries should be limited to 20 okay now let us try to find out what is this problem is going to convey okay so there's a computer game also and there's an array basically consisting of zeros and ones which is going to be like hidden that is going to be like hidden and we need to just guess it out the position of kth zero from the left t times and you can easily see t is going to be one so we are going to guess only one time okay and we cannot process or you can say we cannot ask at uh, more than 20 requests okay and asking a request it's, uh, in this format and it will give us the sum of all the elements in the position from l to r okay and uh, and we should ask at more 20 request and in this case t is going to be like uh, not greater than one okay so we need to i think we need to just print the index okay so position of kth zero so if you are not familiar with this interactive type of problems i will recommend to just to search on the internet and do some interactive problems and then come out to this one to find it out what could be the best solution of this problem okay so let us together find it out what how we are going to approach to this problem okay so basically we have been given let us talk about constraints also and it's going to be like uh, 2 into 10 power 5 so we cannot have a more than o of n log n solution and t is going to be like 1 and for every t we have been given some k and we need to find it out what should be the kth zero in this hidden array starting from left to right okay and the queries that we can ask is like l comma r and uh, we will be given the answer as some of the elements present in the range l to r both inclusive okay so let us try to understand this with the help of example suppose we have the array like this one okay and suppose we have this array and if uh, we, uh, we if we have been given the value of k equal to let's say one and if k is given as one and uh, this means that we need to find what is the position of first zero starting from left to right note that this array is going to be like hidden this array is hidden and we need to find the position of kth zero here k is one we need to find the position of first zero starting from left and how we are going to do that since n is going to vary up to at most 2 into 10 power 5 we could have uh, think for a better solution so uh, I'm just talking about the efficient solution. Okay, so let me try to think about binary search. Okay, so in the mainly interactive type problems, either either we have an easy version or a hard version. You must think for an binary search approach to get an efficient solution. Okay, so let us try to figure it out how this binary search is going to help us to figure out the best solution of this problem. Okay, so if we have been if we start iterating or you can see if we start searching. In the binary search way like l is 1 and r is going to be like the size of this maximum it should be like 3 and 3 6 okay so if we find the mid value okay so if we have this as mid which is going to be like l plus r divided by 2 and i'm just going i'm just going to ask query in the form of l comma mid okay so if i am asking the query in the form of l comma mid it means that we will be given answer as number uh, we will give an answer as some of the elements in the range l to mid inclusive okay and let's call it as some we are just asking a query in the range l to mid which will be as like uh, some of the elements in the range l to mid okay so let's say we have been given as some i'm just writing down two conditions now okay uh, okay so for now you can easily see since the array consists of only zeros and one okay i think i've forgotten to mention it about uh, you can easily see array consisting of zeros and ones okay only so i'm just asking the query in the range ultimate and if we have been given the sum and this sum is going to be like basically denoting the number of ones present in this range ultimate okay so this is the number of ones okay and if this is the number of ones then what is the number of zeros in the range ultimate you can easily see number of zeros z would be like total number of elements in the range l to mid mid minus l plus 1 is the total number of elements minus sum is the number of zeros 
and if this is the number of zeros then we can easily manipulate whether we have to go to l equal to mid plus 1 that is whether we are going to search into the right side or we are going to search to the left side that is the two conditions that i am going to write l equals mid plus 1 in the binary search or we are going to write r equals to mid minus 1 in the binary search note that i am just trying to figure it out what could be the kth zero starting from the leftmost uh, leftmost side of the array and the array is going to be like hidden and the main benefit uh, main benefit that i am going to avail is that uh, this sum and this sum is going to basically denote number of ones present in the given range okay so if every time i am just asking what is the number of ones in the range l to mid by asking a query and this will return the sum and this sum is going to denote number of ones present in this range and we can get the number of zeros as mid minus l plus 1 minus sum okay so you can easily see if this is the number of zeros i'm just writing down two conditions first condition is if this number of zeros is going to be like less than k okay so you can easily see if number of zeros is going to be like less than this value k it means that uh, still i i need to go to the right because i i need the kth zero from the left and this k is going to be like still greater than z it means that i must go to the right of this uh, current uh, range that is l to r so i just write it down l equals mid plus 1 okay now can i need to change the value of k or not you can easily see if i am just moving it out like uh, if my current range is l to r and uh, i have just find it out there are z number of zeros in the range l to mid okay and you can easily see if i am just changing my this l to mid plus 1 i must change the number of zeros and if k is my current number of zeros i must subtract k minus equals that is i must subtract or you can say i must assign k equals k minus z why since i am incrementing my the left bound l equals mid plus 1 i am just trying to search in the next range that is l equals to mid plus 1 to the r and since I am just uh, moving to the next range, I must subtract the number of zeros that I have already visited. Okay. And what is the number of zeros that I have already visited? Z equals mid minus L plus 1 minus sum. Sum is going to denote number of ones present in my current range, current range L equals L to mid, sorry. And uh, zero and sum is going to like the number of ones and Z is going to denote the number of zeros. Okay. Since I am changing my range, I need to change my the value of k and what about the case when z is going to be like greater than or equal to k uh, now the main thing is like if z is going to be like greater than or equal to k it means that the kth zero since k is going to be like less than or equal to z the kth zero must lie to the left side of my current range so i need to just assign r equals to mid minus one okay so it should be like r equals to mid minus one so this is the basic approach i am just going to do okay so this is going to be like entire binary search and the main thing is like z should be less than k what value should i should assign l equals to mid plus one or r equals to mid minus one okay so uh, th this is basically done i'm just trying to just uh, explain this entire scenario with a help with the help of very short example let me try to explain that okay so suppose we have an array like uh, one zero and uh, let's say we have like 0 and 1 1 1 okay so if we have been given this uh, array and uh, let's say we have l or we have l equal to 1 and r equal to 6 and let's say we have to find k equal to 1 that is the first 0 present in this array okay so let us try to find out the mid mid you can easily see it will come out to be like 1 plus 6 upon 2 it will come out to be 7 by 2 and the integer value is like 3 I'm just uh, trying to ask what is the number sum of the elements which is basically the number of ones present in the range l to mid which is 1 to 3 you can easily see if, if the array is hidden and we have been asking a query it should it will always report the actual one and which is going to like number of ones is going to like in the range 1 to 3 is coming out to be 1 so I'm just checking the first condition if one is less than k or not you can easily see one is not less than k it is like less than one is uh, 
greater than or equal to k so i am just moving to the second condition what is that second condition r equals mid minus 1 so it means that i must decrement my range and uh, how much i am going to decrement my range r equals to mid minus 1 so it means that i am just searching in the range now l equals to 1 and r equals to 2 so my current range becomes 1 to 2 okay so should i decrement the value of k or not no i am not going to decrement the value of k and the reason uh, behind this is quite simple you can see since I, uh, my k is going to be like greater than 1 or you can say my k if my k is going to be greater than the zeros then only well, i should decrement the value of k otherwise there is no need to decrement the value of k okay so other in the case like uh, when k should be like greater than or equal to 1 or k should be like greater than or equal to z z is denoting the number of zeros then only i can do the thing and the reason behind this is uh, you can easily see i i must have to search for the k is zero and for that case i just need to decrement the value of the range okay so in that case i just have to do r equals to mid minus 1 okay now let us talk it uh, let us talk about the range 1 to 2 so my range is like uh, 1 to 2 okay so you can easily see i will have the like uh, okay okay so i think i've done one mistake okay and the mistake is like uh, okay so okay yes i found the mistake like if i'm just trying to find it out here like uh, if uh, number of ones is like one and so the number of zeros should be like two yes number of zeros should be like two okay so num the number of zeros should be two so if the number of zeros should be two then you can easily see i need to just check it out the first condition okay just i have mentioned one thing wrong this should not be equal to one so number of zeros in this range is two i need to compare the zeros with the value of k okay so if number of zeros is two ask to yourself is two is going to be like less than k with where k is one so you can easily see k is uh, so this condition become false i need to just check for the condition r equals to mid minus one that is i am going to this condition so it means that I'm just, I just want to decrement the value of this range. So it means I am just coming out to 1 to 2. Okay. And if I'm just coming out to 1 to 2, I'm just asking again the query. And mid here is going to be like L plus R by 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3 by 2 is again coming out to be 1. So just ask the query 1 to 1. What is the number of uh, ones in this range 1 to 1? It will come out to be 1. So number of zeros will be like length of the range minus number of ones it will come out to be zero so is zero is going to be like less than k so the first condition is satisfied so just increment your l l equals to mid plus one and what is the mid mid is going to be like one and one plus one is going to be like two so now my current range becomes two to two and if my current range becomes two to two and what is the value of mid you can easily see two and just ask the query that uh, okay ask the query like uh, l to mid so it should be like 2 to 2 number of ones in the range is like uh, 0 so number of zeros would become 1 so 1 less than again you can see 1 less than is uh, 1 is going to be like false so r equals to mid minus 1 and now my binary search becomes stoppable or you can say it's stopped okay so finally i will check the value for this r i think r no i not check this value for this r i will check this value for l minimum uh, kth zero starting from this beginning okay i will print the value of l which is our answer okay so if you are not going to understand this entire scenario still now no need to worry about i will explain this entire thing in the coding part also let's move further to the coding part okay you can see i have an accepted code over here okay so i have just uh, okay so for i have just taken n and t and where for every t i have just take, taken the value of k and l is 1 and r is like n and start binary search okay while l is going to be like less than r find this mid value ask the query from l to mid and find this number of zeros which should be like length of this range minus the number of ones which is basically the sum the query that i have been asked and we will get the answer okay if zero is going to be like less than k that is my current range number of zeros present in my current range is going to be like strictly less than k i need to just search for more number of zeros that is go to the right 
start binary search to the right l equals mid plus 1 and for that case uh, one thing that should be memorized that k should be decremented by the number of zeros that we have found for the current range otherwise else equals r equals to mid minus 1 okay and if entire binary search has been stopped this l will store the kth zero starting from this beginning of this hidden array okay and here i will have the query and here i will have the answer and no need to uh, like uh, don't forget to flush the output otherwise you will get the idle list limit exceeded verdict okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video